Hello, I hope everyone is well. In this video, I'll talk about iReal Pro. This app is very useful. You can use this on your iPhone, Android phones, and also tablets such as iPad and other Samsung Android tablets as well. So, as you see on this list, uh, first of all, you need to have a playlist to play the tunes. When you have this app, uh, I think it's around $14, so you can buy it from your App Store or Google Play Store. And uh, you'll not have any playlists. So right now I have a lot of uh, tunes, as you see. So what you can do is, you can go to Forums, and as you see, there are a bunch of different styles. For example, let's start with jazz standards. So in this topic, there are 1350 uh, jazz standards. If you click on this blue uh, link, then you can import the playlists to your iReal Pro. Then here you'll uh, basically download all of them, then you'll have this playlist. And uh, after that, you can see the songs with the and the order and you can get all of these tunes in every key for example in this case uh, we had uh, Spanish our Spanish love song so as you see this is the form so what you can do is on here you can uh, control the tempo uh, this is the repeat so you can have like uh, the form could repeat two times, three times, four times. You can arrange that. And here you can change the key as you see. The original key is F minor. And here, this section, you can change the style. Original is kind of like a jazz bossa nova groove. So you can change it to a different style. So you have a lot of options. And what you can do is also uh, you can mix the instruments such as roads, electric bass, drums, and you have also reverb. Also, you can change the instruments as well, as you see, like electric bass, slap bass, organ, tuba, drums, click. So you have a bunch of uh, options to use. So right now, so we have this tune. So when I do this uh, mix down, I, I, I prefer to use one, one time if it's because, as you see, it has some complicated forms like a DSL coda form. So what you can do is you can do it one time and you can edit it on your GarageBand. That's why I picked this tune because this is a little complicated one to edit. But uh, there are easier ones that you don't need to worry about the editing or repeating. So you can just basically uh, put it on your GarageBand or Logic Pro. So you can check the music and the tempo. So to bounce this to your GarageBand, first you click on this share symbol and here click on share audio. Then you're going to click on MIDI. Then Gmail if you have a Berkeley email address. Then you can email this MID file to yourself. Then after this, we'll go back to the computer. All right, now we got the file. It's here, so we can download this, and the file will be here. And simply, actually, you can drag this to your GarageBand or Logic Pro like this. And go to all the way back to Measure One. So we already picked our tempo, so you can click on Import Tempo. All right, let's extend this. So now we have the project. So you can use this tool to extend your sequencer and you can use this tool to extend your project size. All right, so now let's zoom in. So now we have this count off. So you might hear a gong. Yeah, this gong sound in the beginning because the iReal Pro has this. You just need to move this down to a different sound. In this case, we can have snare sound. So this is our count of. So as you see, this is the 
trio, uh, like electric piano, bass, and drum parts. So what we can do for editing, like a, like like I said before, this tune has a DSL coda. Because of that, we need to cut it from the head out section. So you need to find that. <laughs> This is this part. So the repeat starts here. So you can highlight this and to cut it you need to use Command T. Please remember that. And this scroll should be right on it. So now we cut this. And we need to do the same thing for the beginning part. If you want to have the beginning form, let's say this is the A. So you highlight it, then you do Command T. So now, this is the head. So what we can do with the head is, so if you want to loop this, you need to highlight all, and you need to use this function, not this one. This extends it. But this one loops it. So you can hold it and drag it. All right, now as you see, so we have four choruses. First chorus, second chorus, third chorus, and fourth chorus. So this way you can do this, uh, the form easily and you can arrange it. And if you have an ending, let's say if you want to slow down at the end or tag, basically you can just cut it and uh, create an ending separately. Let's say if you want to repeat the last four bars, you can tag the last four bars here. Uh, in our case, this is the last four bars and you do command T and you just wamp it and if you want to do a slowdown let's say this is three times tag and you go help and click right show tempo track so basically on the third time you can do it slow down like this you can create clicks and this the click will go slower and slower the students can record that easily let's listen it as you see this is a way to do a slow down retire down though easily and when you send this to your students again let's say you need to use the mute function so we let's say we can send this to our drummer and you need to leave this on if you want to send it with the click. If you if it's gray, you will not have click. So you can click on that, share, export song to disk. Our Spanish love song. MP3. You can say drum. And also, uh, most of our students, they use GarageBand and Logic Pro. So if you send the project file, they can also overdub their parts as well. So to do that, basically, after this, so this is converting to MP3 right now. And also, we need to prepare our project as well, our Spanish love song. So it's, uh, it will go to your GarageBand folder. So now uh, we go back to our finder. So to find the GarageBand folder, you just type GarageBand. And your folder should appear here. So you can make this under your favorites as well. Simply you just drag it and put it here. Okay. So now you can have it over here. And now, as you see, the Ramless track is here. If you want to send them the project file, just double click, compress it. And here is the compressed file. Then you can send the zip file. And remember, you need to update your Zoom from here. Sure check for updates and your students they should update their zoom as well thank you so much please let me know if you have any questions